One of my favorite ways to play Switch games and watch movies is on a projector. If you've been tuning into the channel for a while now, that should come as no surprise at all. I've used many projectors over the years, from high-end 4K ones to small portable ones, and today we have a new one to check out thanks to my friends over at Jimmy. This is the Halo Plus portable projector, and it is a thing of beauty. The Halo Plus features 900 lumens of brightness, full 1080p HD resolution, the ability to cast a 40 inch to 200 100 inch image, auto keystone and autofocus features for easy setup. There are two 5 watt Harman Kardon speakers. It's got Android TV 10 built in, up to two and a half hours of battery life to use anytime, anywhere. And all of those things come in a sleek modern design that weighs only about three and a half pounds. Seriously, I think this may be the most photogenic projector that I've ever had in my hands. It very much looks and feels the part of a premium projector. I've been using the Halo Plus for about two, three weeks now to play Switch games, and I have been blown away by the performance out of this little thing. Before we continue on with this review though, let us rewind to a quick unboxing and setup so you guys can see all of that fun stuff. So when you get the Jimmy Halo Plus, it's going to arrive in a very nice Apple-ish box. It's fitting for a premium projector like this. Inside the box, you're going to find the projector itself, which we'll talk more about in a bit, a power brick, some documentation, the AC adapter, and a sleek remote. I said this before, I'll say it again, and I'll probably say it again later. This projector is beautiful. It's got a full metal enclosure that gives it a sleek, minimal, modern vibe. This thing is going to look good anywhere that you put it. Around the back of it, is a port for the AC adapter, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, an HDMI port, a USB port, and a power button. There's also a little stand underneath to better angle the projector and a screw hole to mount it onto a tripod. Setting the Halo Plus up is incredibly easy. Thanks to the auto keystone and auto focus features, the projector pretty much does all the hard work for you. From there, you just follow the prompts to sign into your Google account and you're gonna be up and running in literally no time. The setup process here is as seamless as it gets. So next, let's talk about the picture quality. As you've been seeing throughout this video, the Halo Plus delivers amazing results. Obviously, it's not as bright as larger home projectors, but man, this thing sure is impressive for its size. I would 100% use the Halo Plus as my main home theater projector, no questions asked. It looks great, it's easy to mount and set up, the picture quality is sweet, and it is incredibly versatile. Making it my main projector is a bold claim, but after seeing what this little thing is capable of, I am blown away by it. This is like a minimalist dream. When I play my Switch dock to the big screen, it's normally to a projector, and I didn't miss a beat switching over to this little one. That 1080p resolution is more than enough for everyday use. It's razor sharp, and the colors are bright and vibrant straight out of the box. What's nice though is that you do get some flexibility to fine tune the colors by switching between a variety of different picture modes. The mode that I've been using most is game mode, which significantly reduces the amount of latency when you're playing. I've I've already played countless hours on the Halo Plus and barely noticed any lag or latency at all. Since I got this thing, I've played the amazing Pikmin 4 demo, Age of Calamity with Web, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and a few other games, and everything looked incredible. Pair that amazing picture quality with the autofocus and auto keystone features, and you have yourself a very capable plug and play projector that's ready to go anywhere and anytime you need it. Don't forget that when you're done using it inside, you can also take it outside by a fire pit or poolside if you want to. That's the kind of versatility that I love. When it comes to sound quality, the Halo Plus is no slouch either. This little thing is booming. Those 5 watt Harman Kardon speakers are crisp, clear, and punchy with the bass. These little things get loud, like very, very loud, but no matter how loud I set them, they still sounded natural with no distortion. I cranked the volume up to about 85-90% while we were playing Age of Calamity, and it was mind-blowing how loud they got and how good they sounded. The Halo Plus is going to have no problem filling up a medium-sized room with clear sound. I don't think there's going to be a need to even consider getting an external speaker for this projector. What's also neat is that you can use the Halo Plus as a Bluetooth speaker when you're not using it to play games or watch movies. This kind of makes it multi-purpose in a way which is super cool. Here's a quick sound test of the speaker so you guys can get an idea as to how they sound. Ravali spotted a young Rito who had wandered onto the battlefield, but he lost sight of the child amidst the chaos. Master of Oli. So 
before we start wrapping this video up, I want to share what I love most about the Halo Plus. You probably already know what it is. It's its versatility. As you've been seeing throughout this video, I use this projector in many different places. I had it in my home theater, I took it over my grandma's house, and I even had it poolside, and that was all to show how versatile this little projector can be. You can also use it while you're hanging out with your friends by a fire pit on the side of an RV, and you can even take it over a friend or family member's house to provide the entertainment. I picked up Jimmy's carrying case and tripod for the Halo Plus, and I found those to be awesome additions if you plan to take it out and about. The tripod, which is kind of like a monopod, is especially great for angling this projector in any type of scenario. As far as battery life goes, you're going to get around the advertised two and a half hours. I did find that number to be very close to true. I was able to fully watch The Lion King and a few other movies that were around two to two and a half hours without an issue. Batteries in projectors like this typically plummet, but I was pleasantly surprised that that was not the case with the Halo Plus. The battery drain was actually quite slow. You're easily going to be able to power through a two to two and a half hour movie or play games that long without an issue. One last thing that I wanted to touch upon is the remote. I like it a lot. It feels nice in your hand. You get a Google Assistant button and it's just as sleek as the Halo Plus itself. All around, it's just a really nice, well-designed remote. To start wrapping this up, I'm a big, big fan of the Jimmy Halo Plus. It's a fantastic little projector that's got bright and vibrant picture quality. It's easy to set up with the auto keystone and autofocus features. Those built-in Harman Kardon speakers are booming. It has everything you need inside with Android TV. It's got solid battery life to use anywhere. And on top of it all, it's got a gorgeous, sleek design that's going to look incredible anywhere that you put it. I know I keep raving about the design of this thing, but this is hands down one of the most photogenic projectors that I've ever had in my hands. At the end of the day, I would absolutely recommend the Halo Plus to anyone looking for a new projector, whether you're looking for a big one or a small one, and this competes with some of the best out there. Whether you're going to be gaming or watching movies, this little thing is sure to blow you away. Jimmy knocked it out of the park with the Halo Plus. So that's about all I got for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Ray Strassis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace.